after the last week going out for Talon. It will be an IO. But does not know it as there's still smoke. Now smoke breaks. GPK is there. He reveals them. Pure walks up there. The hook, it's going to connect. On to 23. Jab runs right into the midst of all of them. But then the jump from Ollie. Turns, wants to do what damage they can. Makoto finds one, but it's not on the IO. Nonetheless, they did manage to kill off the Pudge. Dead for a minute. Bet Boom, what do you have left in the tank? And they even did a pretty good save there. That was a very quick tombstone save onto the onto the Pudge, but they're just destroying the tombstone with the support Marcial. Makoto away from the rest of his team. The Dawn oh, Breaker oh, ultimate comes down. He's able to jump away. And three shot! Nightfall just evaporated one. Now feared in trouble. Has to back out of there, even disposing to try and get a little bit of extra separation. All right, Nightfall hits hard. 23 Savage, gonna get caught by the Decay, low on mana, they get some vision, Makoto trying to find the back line, get the kill up, yes! They take down the Muerta, can they get any more? Toronto, Tokyo, they run to 23 Savage and the relocate gets them out. GPK found, they run right into it, but nothing left in the tank to break the TP. But they know Roche could respawn soon. They're moving right into position. Q is going to be the first point of contact. Oh, jump hook. Oh, he got him. be in time. Wow. Caught him immediately. completely off guard. 23 Savage is kind of in no man's land here, too. The tornado is actually going to hit him. Makoto looking for a back line to jump at. And BKB, they chase forward, want to find the kill onto him. And meanwhile, they go for the Dawnbreaker ultimate. Ends up pulling himself away. Dying is gone. Can they get any more? Ollie's starting to fall. Nightfall chasing a couple more hits. It's enough. Sunstrike follow up. 23 Savage is in trouble. Pure caught him with that one. Makoto trying to find another target, but he's not able to bring down GPK. The Sprank away. 23 Savage still living through this. Goes back into the Shadow Realm and is actually living through it. The Hurricane. Pike in the separation gets out of there. Talon are somehow making this fight work for themselves as save is chased, save is gone. There will be no relocate out of this. Can they find any more? Doesn't quite look like it. And like, you have so much freedom when you jump in on this dawn. 23. This one melee creep trying to get vision. Oh, oh, they got him again. Do they have anything to follow it up? Does not appear so. A dead shot. Still sitting with the Lincolns right on top. Maybe go for the easier target. Q is there. Could jump if they want. Hook not nearly where they needed it to be. Now the tornado, but then another walk away. And now they step forward. The hex connects Makoto. They back out. Pure low, pure in trouble, dead. Does have buyback. Are they going to find anything else? Nightfall starts spraying. He popped his ult and BKB there, so that's one down. Has to swap out the Mjolnir and get Refresher ready. Still just cannot touch 23 Savage. They do not have an angle on this guy. He's playing it so safe and still sitting pretty with everything. Four yeah. staffs forward. Again, Wind Waker <laughs> pulls him back, and now the Tornado. They are not buying back on Pudge, though, so there's no chance for a kill. So... Dealing some more damage. The Hex is there. They bring him down low. Toronto, Tokyo in the grave. Talon, they've gotten to what feels like an unbeatable point now. As still 50 seconds left on this Pudge. He buys back at this point. GPK, there's the Tornado lift up. Toronto, Tokyo wants to find him. But the Wind Waker, the walk away, he's back in the Shadow Realm. There is no point to hit this guy. The hook not going to connect. And Talon just sitting pretty right outside the base saying, come hit me, I dare ya. Does he manage to find this hook? Crown Tokyo right in front of him? No, the Wind Waker away, the hook not gonna connect. This, it just doesn't seem fair. It's like Pudge Wars. <laughs> just that one team has every item and the other one has one punch. I mean, it's, Willow's- It's not, yeah, it's tough, man. Like. I'm just sitting here in silence waiting for them to somehow connect something, but it's borderline impossible. Now they find Toronto Tokyo. It doesn't seem like they even care. The Hex was there, but they buy another Lincolns in a second. He's out. I mean, this is definitely some disgusting stuff you're going to see in your pubs. And it feels like the only thing that's going to be a limiting factor is 23 himself. Like him messing up and somehow getting caught. Yeah, but he is just... So Think of how crazy of a safety net he has, right? Yeah. He has Wind Waker, Pike, Lincoln's BKB, and Dawn Ulti with Ags. Like, what more can you possibly want for a safe siege except an Aegis? 
and they Tornado. Just... Oh. They hexed him, but he got worm off. Okay, and now he runs away. And it's X Machina for the Pudge. So they managed to get a couple of items while this is going on. Jabs jumps forward, finds it. Toronto Tokyo in trouble, ends up being brought down. That's Score. a dieback. Looking for something, anything. Can they connect onto him? Jabs again gets saved by it. Oh, 23 Savage. He went to save Jabs. And now he gets caught. Wait, 23 Savage bought back. If he dies again, that could be it. Jabs, sudden oh. strike. Oh, steady falls. Disarm onto Q. Signs of life in what felt like a hellscape that was the Radiant base. Patience is the name of the game, and they finally got a bit impatient there and went in too far with the Willow, trying to save Jabs. He will buy back, though. They know they have a 5 on 4. This is quite aggressive. Yeah, it very much is. I mean, uh, again, an, an interesting decision to go in at this point. Disarm onto all of them. Looks for the hook, finds him. Now tries to back out. And with the Dawnbreaker ultimate, it's scary. Makoto chasing, hunting. Nightfall gets stunned. Is it going to be long enough duration? Oh, the damage coming out from Nightfall. It's so strong. Already a couple gone. Jabs doesn't have buyback. Throws out the terrorize. The connection is there. Pure needs to back out, wanting to bring down anybody. As they retreat, GPK still on the hunt. The hex, he immediately found him. GPK is pissed. He wants more. Can they find him? Tornado, lift up. I'm not done with you yet. Get back over here. The Hex comes out. But do they have friends? Can they get there in time? Slowed down. Hook, not going to be on the mark. Nightfall chasing. Has a dead shot ready. But they don't want to chase out of the base. Nightfall goes for it. Okay. Yeah, this is just a clean. <laughs> There's no way you get here. This is actually just insane. It won't. Oh, man. So they managed to claim it. There is a refresher shard still in, which Toronto Tokyo is going to pick up now. Aegis, um, because he doesn't have buyback. You have Undying right behind him. Willow is ta ta tagged onto him there. And then you get the double hit because Willow's 25. But no! Instead, you just step up, and that's already a tier 3 tower gone. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute now. The hook, the connection. Q, he's in trouble. Oh, Bet Boom, have you actually done it? There's a buyback. This is one of the two heroes that still have one. That went way better than I expected on the first high ground. That's quite inspiring, honestly, for Bet Boom to see this happening. Okay. Nightfall, Nightfall, well, Nightfall, get out of there! But the cheese, the save come out from the aisle. Pure, he's in no man's land. One more damage there. Look at the desolator! The hits coming in from the aisle. GPK comes out, goes for the disarm, and then the back away. Pudge, back alive again, needs to BKB, needs to escape. The tricks of the trade, chasing, they're waiting for Makoto, wants his moment, and they find him! Is it going to be enough damage? Yes! They take down Makoto! Can they get any more, though? Nightfall, the hook, again, pure, he's on his man, can they bring down this Willow? Goes for the to walk away, and the damage coming out, the aisle is doing so much of it! Save and Nightfall doing it all together, but they managed to kill off that Muerta. Now the buyback looks for more. Toronto Tokyo with his axe. He's so freaking tanky on this Undying. 10,000 HP on Toronto Tokyo. Looking for more. Best boom. They're going to claim the game. How do you do that? How? How? You were right, Gabe. It didn't reach 70 minutes. It was close. It was very, very close. Holy shit. I actually can't believe Bedroom just ended it like that. Given how difficult the how? fights looked in their own base, they just... I mean, at some point, you just go for it, right? They have the advantage of the Aegis and Cheese there, and they just run in, pop all their stuff, and hope that Talon make a mistake and get caught, and they did. Nikoto, the first one to play a little over-aggressive there. Jumping in and getting Hex and killed. No buyback on him. Jabs as well as 23. One after the other, they fall without that buyback. But man, that's... Okay, I'll be honest with you. That's a difficult one to recover from from oh, Talon. yeah. Because you felt like this was in the bag, right? Oh, it, absolutely. You were pushing. You were so confident that you bought back three cores to try to right. end the game. You didn't need to buy those heroes back. You had all three waves in the enemy base. Maybach.